recap of the game. I do really enjoy uh, how we finished. I'm very proud of him for that. That's not always been the case this year or over the years, even when we win games. Um, you know, we give them the ball back by not doing a very good job in four minute situations, um, including that team right there. That last time they were in the stadium, we had the ball with a chance to win. So <clears throat> that was really good uh, to come out after the delay to stop them, you know, when they're in four down situations, which is always hard. You know, they made actually two fourth downs during that drive, and we eventually stopped them and got the ball back and didn't give them the ball. So that was good. Um, <clears throat> I mean, obviously there was run issues. You know, both sides good and bad for us offensively was really good to have that many yards rushing and 300 yard rushers is a lot of people doing things right, not just the offensive line um, and not very many negative negative runs at all with, I mean, besides two knees, what, 67 carries. The other side, very, <clears throat> very poor job of giving up explosive runs. Um, you know, we've been pretty good at limiting explosive plays. You know, we do plus minus explosive, just like most people do turnovers. Um, you know, we're plus, I don't know, 40, 46 or 44 or something on the year, um, you know, which is a very important stat to winning. So we did not do that in the run game on defense. So we need to get better at that. <coughs> um, but, you know, it was a good win. Went home against a program we'd not won against in six years. It's always cool to break streaks and continue our home streak. I thought the crowd was really good. You know, obviously we lost some at <clears throat> the lightning delay, but prior to that, it was good and, um, you know, created a lot of energy to start the game. And it went up 21 nothing, whatever, 17 minutes into the game or something. What? Lane, uh, with how explosive and, and dominant the running game was on Saturday between the running backs and also Jackson. Obviously, you know, you can't expect to get 400 yards and that amount of touchdowns all the time with those guys, but how sustainable do you think, like, an above average level of production could be with, you know, with, with that group? Well, it, obviously you gotta be realistic in any level, but especially the SEC, you know, that's not gonna happen. and. Um, you know, whatever they said, that's, I think, the most yards in 10 years or something in SEC versus SEC game. So uh, we've had two really explosive run game games, you know, uh, in Georgia Tech and in that game. But, you know, we've got to be consistent, run the ball really well. Those numbers aren't going to be like that every week. And, you know, people, people coach. And so... They, you know, they gear up to stop certain plays once you run them. So it's not like we were just running normal inside zone and making all those yards. There were a lot of schematical perimeter runs and crack blocking and things in there that, you know, people will, will coach up. You don't get to, you know, just keep running the same plays and they work um, very long, in my opinion. When you guys reviewed the film, were you able to pinpoint anything specific that was going wrong with the run defense, or was it kind of just a lot of different things? Yeah, I think we started really well. I think I want to say four series in a row to start the game, and <clears throat> um, you know, and then you know we jumped out of some gaps and we missed some tackles, and that's what usually what goes on in the run game uh, for explosive runs. And we have a lot of people up there, and so when it breaks, they break bad, you know, um, in what we were doing because. We were up there a lot because of the run and because of the quarterback we were playing. And so the problem with that is when it breaks, there's not a lot of people back there. LSU's got another quarterback that likes to run. You guys have struggled a little bit against those dual threat guys. What are the challenges you've seen so far about Jaden Daniels? Uh, I thought he played great the other night, um, running and throwing. And, you know, I've seen him before, uh, you know, when he was you know, transfer and stuff, just seeing him over time and very explosive player. And then they seemed to have got the receivers going and uh, really were great on third down and great in general, you know, whenever they were throwing the ball.
You guys have uh, started redshirt freshman tackles the last few weeks. How would you kind of evaluate where those guys are at now? I think they've done really well. Um, I think <clears throat> last week was a, a big test, you know, for them. Um, I guess it'd be what their third start together, and you know, to play against some really good players. Uh, so they, they did really well, and protected the quarterback well and really did good in the run game. Through three SCC games, his first SCC games, how would you kind of evaluate Jackson at this point? Yeah, I think Jackson's done a really good job, um, you know, running the system within the system. You know, you don't see a bunch of screwed up plays or formations or, you know, where it looks like he's going the wrong way or the back is. And a lot of that is you know, him communicating this stuff because of how we run the system and how fast it has to go. So I think he's done a great job with that. You know, the interception was a freak interception. So um, I think I think he's done a really good job. Uh, just your first kind of sustained road trip, back-to-back uh, -back road games. Just I know you talked about these road games with this team before. Just, are there challenges now, or how do you feel they've kind of handled those two heading into these next two? Yeah, I think we've... We played really well on the road. Obviously, this is a different animal, um, you know, than the first two places that we played. And so, no disrespect to those places, but this will be a real atmosphere and crowd noise, and um, you know, for our guys to go into. And with that's a lot of challenges of just staying focused and doing things really well, and it'll be very challenging. What are your memories of, or does anything stand out about your past matchups against Brian Kelly from those USC Notre Dame days? Um, not really. I mean, you know, I think they won both times out in the Coliseum. We won when we went there to play. Um, you know, both times our backup quarterback was playing when they won, but um, they actually we had a chance in a fourth in a goal line where we didn't make four plays in a row and they won the game and, um, you know, ended up, you know, going to the national championship. Along those lines, just kind of what are your, I guess your past experiences in Tiger Stadium? Teams have gone there and kind of gotten out of their element a little bit when they've played there. How do you also kind of prevent that a little bit? I mean, we just got to stay focused and play each play and do your job and, um, you know, like you said, a lot of teams have performed not very well there. You know, they've got a great winning record over the years there. Their, their crowd um, understands football and is into it as much as any place that you go. So, um, played some really challenging games there. After going over the film, what, what would be your assessment of the tight end play on Saturday? I think Casey did a great job. He played ton of snaps and he played 80 snaps or something um, which is too much and um, but he's a competitor warrior had a big block on uh, you know the the run that broke right before the lightning delay for the touchdown and he's very competitive and was a big part of the game plan even though the statistics don't show it in catching um, but as you saw a lot of different types of blocks Lane, we talk about how successful the running game has been with those two guys this year, and you talked about Jackson's progression through the last couple of weeks, and he's still relatively new. I mean, you know, into his first year here, just getting that gig a few weeks ago. In the event that, you know, the running game was really shut down, like based on whoever you play, if the defense really schemed up for to shut down the running game, how confident would you be in kind of letting Jackson cook back there and, and slinging it? Well, I think just two games ago that happened a little bit. You know, we were struggling at Vanderbilt, you know, with some run stunts up front and what they were doing, and and Jackson threw for whatever, 450 yards or something. So um, we're very confident. Every game's independent. Every game plan is different every week, and um, I think <clears throat> we're a little unique that way, and, you know, you kind of never know what you're going to see when you play us. We don't just run a system. I'm not saying which way is bad or good. I'm just saying we change a lot obviously year to year, but even week to week. So um, we just always try to give our players the best chance to win. And um, you, you sent out that, that tweet a couple nights ago of you in the, in the Tennessee office and, you know, got a lot of, a lot of buzz on Twitter. What was kind of the, the reasoning behind that? Um, 
I don't know, I guess in here the other day I say I overthink things. Sometimes I underthink things. Um, <laughs> I really, there was not a lot. A lot of times people just send me something, and it was the week of that game, and someone sent it um, kind of as a joke to me, whatever. So I just tweeted it. I was going to ask, how much of that game did you end up watching? Did, did you watch any Alabama-Tennessee? <sighs> I did. I mean, I sent a tweet, you know, as they were lining up for the field goal. Um, but... And the guy did jump through to block it, so it was kind of eerie right there. But uh, I, I did. I didn't, you know, at the beginning I didn't catch because we were finishing up here with recruiting and stuff. But, you know, exciting game. Um, and it's just that that's football, you know. Like, a game goes either way, just like we get in those games like Kentucky. And so it's just always kind of funny for me to see fans and everybody, you know, when a game can go either way. One side misses a kick, one makes it, and, you know. The whole world's changed. Anything else for coach? Thank you. All right.